Hey guys, this is Dapsin Ishmael. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to set up a dialog box which is going to deliver our success message whenever we submit a contact form. So to show you what I mean, let me just come to the block section. I'm going to use a block here to which is going to have the contact form. So let me just um, start with this. This is all I'm interested in. And since I'm working on a contact form, I need to have um, change this particular page to a PHP one. So I'm changing this to PHP and then let me just go ahead and then click on OK. Now you actually need to test this on a server. So for my server, I'm going to use XAMPP. Let me just make sure my XAMPP control panel is functional. So it started. OK, so let me just hide this one. And then it's time for us to configure the form itself. But before then, we need a dialog box. So let me just come to the toolbox, search for jQuery dialog box. Um, I think I should have a dialog box somewhere here. Let me just look out for it. Okay, so there's another jQuery UI. And then once I have the dialog box in here, I'm going to click on my um, tools. Let me just get a text tool here. And then I'm going to, let me just use the heading instead. So let me come back here, use the heading tags. So I'll draw inside here and then maybe just say success. And then click on OK. Let me just align this to the center. Click on OK. So it's positioned in the center of my dialog box. Now what I'm going to do next is I need to have a name for this particular dialog box. Let me come to the properties and change this to success. Now what I'm going to do next is to come to my contact form, which is here. Double click on this. Come to the form section and then hit on settings. Now when I come to the head, um, settings section, I should configure my form to use the built-in PHP form processor. So this is going to allow me to configure my form with an email address, which is going to be submitted to. So I'm going to leave this as it is. In this case, I still need to select a success page, but let me just um, pause on that. Let me come to this particular section, which has a target. So once I come to the target section, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and realize that I have success here, which is my um, dialog box I selected here. So let me just select on that. Click on OK, click on OK. Now I need a new page or a blank page which is going to serve as my success page. So let me just create a blank page, use this as success. And then come back to the form. So I'll double click on this again, come to my form settings, and then I'm going to change, um, select the success page, which is basically going to be this. Now what is going to happen is that when I submit to the form, it's not going to take me to this page. Instead, it's going to show this dialog box. So let me click on OK, click on OK. Now I'm going to hide this particular dialog box. So once I load the page, it doesn't show. So I have everything set and done. Let me preview this page. And then um, let me just do this in Firefox. And then, OK, it looks like I already have my dialog box showing. But let me just click on this. Realize that the dialog box is actually showing in here. That is basically how you could go about this particular process, whereby you um, set your contact form in a dialog box. So once you submit the message, it tells you that your message has been submit, uh, submitted successfully instead of um, um, you being directed to a different page and then coming back and forth. So that's basically how to go about it. You can kindly try it out and let me know how it works for you. So guys, that is just about it for this tutorial. In case you are new, kindly hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Dabson Ishmael. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.